I had the GI Bill, I worked three jobs as an undergraduate, and I still have a ton of debt that I have to pay off when I finally finish my PhD. So to believe that hard work will get you through college and you'll be debt free is kind of ridiculous. I'm here to tell you that hard work isn't necessarily enough and that something has to change because how can we have progress if the government standing by and letting corporations take over and take advantage of people. It's wrong.
she's been working, she's been working so hard for the past three years to support me, myself, and my sister. We went on welfare, we went on food stamps for a while. We, she did not have a job. But look, right now this is what's going on. She has to choose between whether to be my little sister or have health insurance. Now you tell me how that's supposed to work. Tell me how that's supposed to work. Representative of the 99%. We are. 
profits. Where are the headlines about the record salaries and wages that should go along with them? That's all I have.
of this country, but I'm just as American as apple pie. So I grew up in Brooklyn, New York, and I'm from a place that's revolting right now. Okay? And I, be, I speak behalf, on behalf of the immigrants, and on behalf of the artists, and on behalf of all the crazy fucking poets out there. They're just down on the ground. And all I want to say is that if we lived in a world where the bankers let the artists feed themselves, that there wouldn't be a problem. But you don't let us live. So now all we have is our hands and our voices.
Bring a buddy, bring a sign, bring your yeah. boy. 